All right, let's try to barrel bash this for the for for fun. So I'll draw it this way because I'm kind of for some reason more comfortable this way. So this this is, I guess, if you want to do it in terms of barrel bash notation, this is like like this is B, this is C, and then you would have like this is like little B, and then little C is equal to little B, right? And this is little A, which is root two times little B, you know. And where's the Rihanna gone? The whole point of Barry Bash, one of the things that makes this easy to Barry Bash, is you you get the coordinates like when you have when you have the angles that P makes with the sides like this, you can find the coordinates in Barry's central coordinates. Called Conway's formula, yeah. That makes sense. So, so we know the coordinates of P, okay? But you know that might not mean anything. So, what are the coordinates of P? You remember Conway's formula? Let's see, we have Conway's formula somewhere. No. <laughs> it's like around here somewhere. That's complex bash. Barry bash is lambda. There we go. Barry central coordinates. Conway's formula. See, look. Yeah, so P B E B C P C B. Oh. Yeah, so if you're given P C B and P B C, then the coordinates are given like that. You see? Alright, that's it. Phone. You have failed to be a human being. Uh, yeah, now you'll be treated like a failed human being. Ah, <clears throat> uh, is that Conway? You're a piece of crap. That's what you are. I've been telling you that this is Conway's formula the whole time, and yeah, then you yeah, asked, "Is this Conway?" I'm double checking. Am I hearing this correct? <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so what are the corners of P then? So according to the formula, P equals two B squared, yeah? That's A squared, that's the length of the side opposite A, times two times the area of the triangle times coat cot of these things, yeah? yeah. So, to, what's the area of the triangle? It's B half B squared, right? So, so it's just B squared. Okay, and what is what is the uh, cot cot of alpha C? 
So it's cot 45 minus theta and minus cot 45. So cot 45 minus theta minus cot 45, which is which is just one, right? And the very last one is cot theta minus one. So b squared cot theta minus one. Yeah. You see. All right. What do you do now? You see what to do next? So as a mathematician, like one of the things that you might object to is when when the choice has been made without your consent, basically, right? Why did I choose to express the coordinates of P in terms of C and B, right? I could have equally done it for A and B, you know? So whenever that happens, you've got to think, well, did I make the right choice or... C and B have the sort of... Symmetry. No, we use C and B because that's what the formula say. Yeah, there's, there's not necessarily a good reason for that. But the thing, the point is, you can also do the A and B and A and C. C and B feels more natural for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. I'll stop talking. Yeah, so you should try and see what it does for A and B, what it does for A and C, right? So what's the, what's the coordinates if you do it for A and B? You know, just to see if you really understand the formula. Oh. I guess if you're kind of comfortable with the question, it's like if you could find theta, you could also solve it. Ten is really so. Is it clear? Like if like if you're using, are we doing A and B or B and C or A and C? Shall we just do A and B? So what's the coordinates of P using this triangle? What are you doing? Sorry, sorry. What are you doing? Oh. Give me your laptop. <laughs> <laughs> You're the kind of person who, once they succeed at something, you just waste it and then waste it and degenerate back to your original state instead of building on that success. I'm ashamed of you. <laughs> <laughs> you can call me. I, I'm ashamed. I ashamed everyone. 
I'm ashamed of you, but you can call me ashamed for short. I'm ashamed of you, but you can call me ashamed for short. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's just one step ahead all the time. Oh, and then she denied her name was just one step ahead. Damn it. <laughs> we seriously don't know how to do this. I'm not asking you to prove Conway's formula. So that's the coordinates for P, right? Yeah. But you can express it in three different ways. You need to take in at least two of them, otherwise it doesn't define the point, right? Or would you need to take it in all three ways for it to define? No, the P? angle, each way already defines the point. But the, the fact that you've got more than one way, you can even find theta while you're at it. Oh, it defines the point, but what I mean is, because we don't know theta, we need to take more than one way to define the point. You need one, more than one way to find theta. Yeah, that's what I meant. How's the length A defined? A is the length of this, the, the side opposite the angle A. All right. so, so it's the length of BC, yeah? yeah? And the angles came from B and C. Okay. Yeah, no, concentrate. Conway's formula. Make it your formula. Make it Rihanna's formula. Sir. That's plagiarism. Huh? That's not cool. <laughs> Sir. Um. You seem to have. Where did you get um the B squared from? Because in the formula it says two would. Is that area of A B C? Yeah. Who times the area of A? Oh yeah, that's correct. Sorry, sir. You know why you're sorry? Not because you're stupid, but because if you'd been paying attention in the first place, we'd already be at that point. And so therefore you're stupid. Wait, what are the semicolons again? Oh, it's just the coordinates in Barry Central coordinates. I'm putting semicolons just to emphasize you can scale them. What does that say in the last? Oh, I can just screw that last stuff. Yeah, so the way the coordinates are presented is if you measure it with respect to BC, the, 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 the A goes into the, the A entry, the first entry, right? And the angle for B and C go in the swapped entries, yeah? So like the angle at B goes into the C entry, yeah? 
and the angle for C goes in the B entry, you know? So if you were to do like AC, right, the side length AC would go into the B entry, the angle C would go in the A entry, and the angle A would go in the C entry. I mean, you're essentially just swapping letters around. So if you're doing it with respect to AB, you're just swapping C, C for A, right? If you're doing it for AC, then you're swapping B for A. Mm -hmm. So what is it? What's COT 90? COT 90? Yeah. It's supposed to be zero, I guess. Right. Well, it's kind of like, it's not really defined though, but... Because this involves COT 90. So the coordinates are supposed to be equivalent, right? Yeah. So you get two B squared equals B squared. No, I want the coordinates. The coordinates for one of them is two B squared. Followed by B squared cot. So that's one of the questions. Which one are you doing though? Um, if we take it from line AB. AB, okay. Yeah, the coordinates are B squared. B squared, okay. So, uh, okay, so it's in the wrong place, yeah? B it? squared goes into the C entry, okay? Oh. Um. What is it? How is it meant to be ordered? Oh, let's wait. think about it. Like, I mean, like the. I just got the yeah. So it's in this. Oh. And the angle A is in the first entry. So A is B squared cot theta. So the A thing is meant to be in the second entry. Yeah. So it's oh. B squared. B squared. Cot theta was minus one, yeah? No. It was Oh the angle A, oops. The angle A is that the angle A? Yeah. Cot ninety. Yeah. Hmm. So cot ninety is so tan ninety is supposed to be like infinite. Uh, so cot ninety is going to be zero. Because cosine ninety is meant to be zero. Right. And the last one is just b squared cot forty five minus theta minus one. B squared cot forty five minus theta minus one. Yeah. 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 Do we need the third one? Um, probably not. Let's see what we get with this, yeah? So yeah. they're meant to be the same, yeah? So we get B squared is equal to cot 45 minus theta minus 1. Cot can't, it, or can cot exceed 1? Um, I don't know, you don't, you don't, or what, what did you get from this? The <laughs> coordinates are meant to be equal, right? Okay, so you made the other mistake you can make here, yes? Oh, you can okay. scale them. Oh. They need to be in ratio. Yeah. Uh -huh. So they're equal up to scaling. Multiply by cot theta minus one, the first, all the terms in the top one. So that's the scale. <laughs> I feel like... Well, that is the scale, because in the first one, 
It's b squared cot theta minus times cot theta minus one. Okay, natural more naturally. Okay, I would take out the b squared. Yeah, you know? we've killed Victor. Two. <laughs> you know why? It's because he had to waste so much brain power listening to you. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Everything I do is a cause of all the issues. But, in but you say it like if you do get it. Michael would blame it on. The thing is, he says it in a not a very pol apologetic way. It's just kind of like, yeah, I get it. All right, all right. I've accepted it. I've accepted my inadequacies. So this one, you can get rid of the b squared, right? Yeah. And the other one, you can get rid of the b squared as well. Correct, sir. So for the other one, you get cot 45 minus theta minus 1. Cot theta. And just 1. Yeah. So the scale, as I said, is cot theta minus 1. Okay, sure. So we get, um, so what, we have cot 45... 45 minus theta um, minus 1 times cot theta minus 1 yep. is equal to 2. Yep. We have um, cot theta. Yeah. Times cot theta minus 1 equals cot 45 minus theta. Okay, so cot 45 minus theta minus 1 times cot theta minus 1 equals 2. Is that what you're saying? We also got cot theta times cot theta minus 1 equals cot 45 minus theta minus 1. Is that what you got? Yeah. I don't know which equation you want to try and solve. I don't know much about the identities we're using to treat for cot. Are there any identities for like that would make either one probably easier? I think you would just do the double angle. So if you had cot forty four I remember we did this before, cot forty five minus theta, yeah. Yeah. That's equal to 1 on tan 45 minus theta, you know? Mm. And we had tan 45 minus theta equals tan 45, which is 1, minus tan theta over 1 plus tan 45 times tan theta, you know? Mm. It's 1 minus tan theta and 1 plus tan theta. So this is just 1 plus tan theta and 1 minus tan theta. Yeah. Right. Or another way of saying that is is one plus cot theta on cot theta minus one. Yeah. 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 So that means if you want to solve that equation that should be so which which one do you want to solve first? Or the left one or the right one? Which one? Yeah, do you want to solve this one or do you want to solve this one? Probably end up the same. Feel like the two one seems more doable given that identity thing. Okay. Because you get what? Cop forty five minus eight, you automatically just get that. Do what? Yeah. Alright, talk, communicate. What are you saying? What are you saying? Which one? It works. It works. Uh... So I'm suggesting if look at this equation, yeah? And then just express everything in terms of cot theta. So this thing here becomes this.
Yeah, so actually that minus one actually is a nice expression. But so that just works. Wait, you're saying it's true for all theta? Yeah, because you get, um, what, one plus cot theta, oh wait, not necessarily. Yeah, so it's not. There we go. <sighs> no, that is triple theta. I made an error. Hmm. It appears to be a trig identity. Is it true for theta for? Yeah. Let me see. Is the minus one? So, no. I don't think it's true for all theta. Because I got one plus cot theta on cot theta minus one plus sorry one plus cot theta. All in brackets times cot theta on cot theta minus one minus cot theta plus one equals two. So that's just the equivalent of one plus cot theta times cot theta on cot theta minus one minus cot theta equals one. Wait, you got something that's not an identity? Did you get something that was an identity? Alright, so like if you do this part here, right? <laughs> Andy. The cos 45 minus theta minus 1, yeah? Yeah. You get 2 over cot theta minus 1. Is that what you get? Is that what you got? I had you 2 over... How did you get 2 over cot theta minus 1? So I took this, yeah. Yeah. And I subtracted one, which is this over that. Ooh. Oh yeah. What? <clears throat> oh yeah. My original thing was true. There's an even. Yeah, that, that just works. Yeah, so maybe it's the other equation that we might get us something. Because you also, you can do it another way. You can just multiply it out. Yeah. Um. Right. So here you get cot theta times cot theta minus 1 whole squared equals 2, right? Mm. Surely that's not an identity. Andy, welcome. Oh, Alright, let us focus Andy on a question which he can attack without prerequisite knowledge. Okay, so the, the Andy question is... Wait, let me just undo to see what that is. Cot theta... Cot theta times cot theta minus 1 all squared equals 2. Solve this equation. What's cot? It's cot. cot. 1 over 10. Cot. Isn't that the equation we had before? No. Oh. Is that the other one? Yeah. <laughs> Hmm? Yeah. This is like, like x out of x minus 1 squared equals 2. It's like a cubic. Yeah. 
So you get x cubed minus 2x squared plus x equals 2. Mm. And it, could, it seems like you should be able to solve that. Mm -hmm. Cubic, solve cubic. For that, you probably don't want to cut or something. What? What? I don't know how to solve cubic. I think I'm right. I hate you so much. No. What is it? It's the point of the vision. Wait, are you going to. What? I just guessed that two works and two does work. So I can oh, that. Andy, the and person I... who didn't see the previous question already thought... guessed that two could work. And then when I... all of you who actually knows two is already a solution did not guess two. What? Well, you already knew that? Which because trivial, we actually did this problem before this. If it's x equals 2 or if x equals plus minus 5. Remember we had 10 and 20 with the length, right? So 10 theta is a half, right? Mm. Cot theta is therefore 2. Oh, yeah. Remember? Oh. But Andy guessed it anyway. In the two solutions... I'm assuming it's real, right? Actually. It has to be real. Yeah, I'm assuming it's real. What did you do, then? You divided by 2, is that what you did? Yeah. Okay, let me teach you something about life. Life, there's no such thing as polynomial division. Okay? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's it called, man? So I, I'll tell you, in the HSC, every time anyone uses polynomial division, marks are lost. Oh. You know why? Because they ran out of time to do the rest of the questions. Oh, because it's, it takes too long to do long division. Yeah. No, I, I use short division. So it's like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did you do? Short division, because it's x minus 2. So it's not, so it's a, uh, it's only degree one, so you can just it. What do you mean? You literally just factor out x minus two. Oh, okay, oh, you could do that as No, you always do that, let me tell you. Like, there's always a way to avoid long division. I've never actually seen polynomial division get used successfully in an exam setting. Okay. And, and the key takeaway message is that a special case always exists. And look, x squared plus 1 has no roots, right? Yeah. Yep. It just can pay up this 1 over 2. Yeah. Um, that's an identity, right? So I don't know what it is. Should I make a YouTube short out of this? Do you think people are going to watch it? Um, I don't know. What's the solution to tan theta equals half? Great question. What's that answer? Yeah, that's it. That's the end of the question.